Hey Wargamers, welcome to the Epic Hobbies 4 Epic Minutes. Today I'm going to be painting a Horus Heresy Space Marine in the Thousand Suns colors. I'm going to begin by using an airbrush, but you can just dry brush these colors on if you don't have an airbrush. I start by applying Armor Brown, which is a deep brown color, kind of a bit of a chocolatey color over the black primer, and then layering up different metallics going from bronze to polished gold to get a nice vibrant gold color as the base coat. After that I use Tamiya Airbrush Thinner with Tamiya Clear Red and apply this to the entire model, getting a nice glossy, sort of a candy apple red kind of look. The gold base coat is important because it helps the red look more rich and warm. If you did this over a silver or metallic base coat, it would look a little more flat and stale. Because gold is also a warm tone like red is, if there's a couple areas you don't get entirely perfect coverage on, it just kind of ends up looking like a highlight and that works in our favor. With all the airbrushing done, it's time to start detailing the miniature. I'm going to be using Averland Sunset, which is just a dark yellow kind of color, to base coat parts of the trim that I want to be metallic gold now. The reason I'm doing this is it's actually very hard to get solid coverage with the metallic gold over all this metallic red. Adding this interim color keeps the red from showing through the gold areas. I'm working my way around the model, getting the shoulder pad trim, parts of the helmet, and a few details on the backpack. With the base coat down, I'm going to go over those same areas with Gehenna's gold. This is a fairly bright, little bit of a warm shade of gold. Finally, I'm going to highlight those same areas with a little bit of polished gold. Just really the sharpest edges and sort of the forward facing areas. Next, I'm using Abaddon Black to base coat most of the bolter, as well as some details like the accordion joints on the back of the Space Marine's knees and so on. There's some areas I want to paint with a plain metallic. I'm going to base coat them first with Eshin Gray. It's going to be the studs on the legs and shoulder, and some parts of the bolter and backpack. Just like with the gold, getting this gray base coat down first helps prevent the red from showing through the metallic. Here I'm going to use Sybarite Green to paint the eyes and a few other small details. Unfortunately I didn't capture some of them on camera. The other details I painted were the vents on the backpack and just a couple little dots on the backpack as well. The ones right behind the helmet. Now it's back to metallics. I'm going to use Iron Breaker over the areas I base coated with grey. I'm getting close to being finished this miniature. I'm going to start adding some shading by using Nuln Oil over most of the miniature. I'm being pretty careful about applying the wash only where I really want it and sort of avoiding the larger flat surfaces where it might tend to pool. This is mostly because I don't want to obscure the red metallic any more than I have to. Finally, I'm going to use a bright silver paint, in this case Chainmail Silver, to add some edge highlights to both the red metallic and gold metallic areas. This sort of simulates a bright light glinting off of a sharp edge. And that's it, the Horus Heresy Thousand Sun Space Marine is done. Thanks for watching, and as always, do something epic. Hey, thanks for watching my video. If you liked that one, why don't you check out some battle reports right over here, or check out more epic hobby content right over here. If you really like what I'm doing and want to support my creative efforts, I really urge you to become one of my supporters on Patreon. You can find out more about that right here. Thanks for watching.